Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, we got a little visitor here today. Uh, she just had to be in the <laughs> she just had to be in the video. Um, today we're going to talk about the best platform for selling um, the furniture furniture I get for free. So we're going to talk about the best we're going to talk about the best platform to sell uh, furniture. Okay, we had to put Piper away because she was getting a little antsy. Okay, and uh, for today's video, we're going to talk about why I believe uh, OfferUp is the best platform for reselling furniture. Now, this might vary from uh, state to state, or this might vary from what you sell. So, uh, I like to sell furniture, so I believe OfferUp is the best way to do that. But, if you sell uh, mainly clothing, maybe Poshmark is the best way, or if you sell antiques, maybe Cherish is the best way. If you sell little electronics, maybe eBay. So anyway, so it might depend on what you're selling. So today we're gonna to focus on why I believe OfferUp is the best for reselling furniture. First and foremost, OfferUp just gives you all the tools that you need to sell something quickly and efficiently. It's the first platform that I ever downloaded that focused solely on sell, uh, buying and selling. Other apps are getting better and other websites are getting better, but OfferUp was created for buying and selling, so they focus heavily on the seller and the buyer's experience. Um, and this, to me, is one of the main reasons why I use it. Again, they have all the features that you need to sell something quickly and efficiently. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, download the app right now. Go, uh, you know, go, go find a lamp or something that you don't like in your house and sell it on OfferUp, and um, you'll see what I'm talking about. They walk you through everything. So, the sign-up process is so easy, and the posting process is magnificent. And they're constantly updating the app and making it better. So, that's number one. Uh, number two is the kind of the profile that you that you get when you sign up for OfferUp um, makes it really easy to weed out the scammers or the people that's going to waste your time. I used to use Craigslist a lot back in the day, and Craigslist is still a good option. Um, there's a lot of scam artists on on uh, Craigslist, and so if I were to post this nightstand that I have here on Craigslist, now I'd probably get 20 or 30 messages pretty fast, and I don't know which person is is wasting my time. I could probably weed them out by what they say, but you know, you get you get all those people who reach out to you that's still available. You spend more time on your phone and you spend more time going through your emails than you do uh, selling the item. And it just it makes it, it turns into a kind of a full time job and you want this to be your side hustle. So again there's still there's still scammers on OfferUp, but they it's easier to weed those people out. So they give you a star system, you know, kind of like Uber, or, you know, Lyft or whatever, and they give you a rating system. And if someone were to reach out to me that has two stars, two out of five stars, and has, you know, a few reviews, and I know that person's probably going to waste my time or probably is not a good person to sell to based off the reviews. Other times you'll get people who reach out to you right away. Hey, is this still available? Is this still available? You know those guys that just reach out to you right away? I don't know how they do that. If you go to their profile and if they if they don't have a profile picture, they don't have any reviews and they just signed up this month, then they're probably some kind of scam profile. Um, and you can weed those guys out. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll entertain them and say, yes, it is available. And then when they say, can you text me off platform? I'm interested. Then you know that's a red flag. You never want to go off platform. All the communication is done on the app. There's no reason to go off the platform. So anyways, you can really weed those guys out. And then you can report those people and they get banned off the, you know, off and it's just, it's just, it's just, there's more accountability on OfferUp. So another reason why I love OfferUp and we'll kind of dovetails into the last one um, is, is the messaging platform. The messaging system on there is absolutely amazing. You can keep all your conversations in one place and you can easily go in and out to whoever has reached out to you about a certain item. Um, you know, when I'm posting something on Craigslist or somewhere else, I have all these emails that I have to go through and it's just, it's a, it's a mess. But OfferUp has their messaging platform. It's awesome. It also keeps people accountable for what they say. So a lot of times 
you know, on Craigslist, someone said, I want to buy that for a hundred dollars. They get there and they say, um, what do we say? 60 bucks. I'm like, no, I thought we said a hundred. So then I have to go through the emails and I don't find it on offer up. You can easily see what they offered. Uh, and lastly, I just have so much success on offer up. I mean, I have almost a hundred percent success rate. I have sold almost everything I've ever posted on offer up for, for the last two years. So a hundred percent of what I posted has been sold on offer up. There's been a few things that sat for a while that end up selling somewhere else. But, but for the most part, the success rate on offer up is absolutely amazing. I mean, I'll post the same items on Facebook or uh, somewhere else and they'll sit for a long, long time. And I just have a lot of wasted time on there. And there's just a lot of people that waste your time. Not a lot of serious buyers on all our platforms, but for some reason, OfferUp has a lot of serious sellers and they have a lot of serious buyers. Those two things, your success rate on OfferUp will be higher, I believe, than other platforms if you're reselling furniture. And I've sold probably 99.9% .9 of anything I've ever posted on there. I'll, I'll pull my stats here and see, I think I've post. I think I've sold everything. The only things I've had trouble with is when I do clothing. So this kind of goes back to my first point. If you're selling clothing, or other items, then offer up might not be the best option. Um, they are they are heavily investing in shipping and they're heavily investing in that side of things to make it easier for you to sell smaller items. But um, but right now it's not the best for clothing and smaller items. But it is the best for furniture and bigger items. Um, local uh, sell, local pickup and local delivery or local customers is what you want to focus on. So yeah, so uh, sorry this was kind of a rambling video. I didn't have any structure for this, but I kind of want to just put a video out there today and kind of explain to you guys uh, what I use and why I think it's the best. So please leave me a comment down below. Uh, please like this video. And if you enjoy my content, please subscribe. All right, guys, have a great day. Peace.